Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God. Five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. Romans chapter 2 today, verse 17, where God says, But if thou art called a Jew, and resteth in the, the law, and makest thy boast of God, and knowest his will, and approvest the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law, and are confident that thou thyself are a guide of the blind, a light of them who are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes, who has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Well, this is how all the Old Testament Jewish people felt. And it certainly was true. It was a fact. They felt privileged. And they were privileged to have the complete revelation of God for his people in Old Testament times in the written word of God. They knew what God wanted more than anyone else because they had the Bible. And they were certainly able to instruct the unlearned because they had possession of God's word. We'll look at 21, though. Thou, therefore, who teach, teaches another, teach thou not thyself? Thou that preach, a man should not steal. Dost thou steal? Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery. Do you commit adultery? Thou that abhorrest idols, do you commit sacrilege? They preached the Bible, but they didn't attempt to live the Bible. And this was a real problem for them. They somehow got the impression that they were better than everyone else simply because they were more privileged than everyone else. They looked down upon the heathen because of their sin and because the heathen didn't care about the one true God. But then they would turn around and act like the heathen. And all because they thought they had a pass. They had a pass because they possessed the written word of God. And because they knew the law of God. Well, that's wonderful. But it doesn't give you a pass to live like the heathen. And think you're cut above everybody else simply because you know the truth. It's not the way it works. It didn't work that way back then. It doesn't work that way today either. 23, thou that make thy boast of the law, through breaking the law, dishonor thou God? They did dishonor God. They talked about how holy God's law is, and they pointed their finger at the heathen, and called them dogs for breaking the law. And then they would break it themselves. They claimed to be God's representatives, which they were supposed to be, because that's why God gave them all those special revelations and the word of God and the holy temple and the one true religion. Yeah, they claimed to be God's representative, and they were supposed to be. But they ended up dishonoring God because they were misrepresenting God, morally speaking. And when Christians act like the world today, they, they think that the world, that they're going to cool lost sinners into the kingdom of God, because look at me, I'm so cool just like you. You know what they're thinking? They're thinking, I don't need you, and I don't need to be like you, because I'm already like, I don't need to be, I don't need your Jesus, I don't need your religion, because I'm already like you, or you're already like me. Holy Spirit doesn't use that kind of a lifestyle. He uses holiness and the pure word of God. Study all of that word with me at the Bible, verse by verse dot com. Four complete series going on five. To be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture, verse by verse, pray for me and God's word. And when you take a break from studying with me at the Bible, verse by verse dot com, go to the front page, click the donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead your prayers 
and support are greatly appreciated. Until next time, so long.